Welcome to the AutoClerk Cloud tutorial that will cover the Front Desk dashboard screen. Upon logging into the AutoClerk Cloud program, the user will land on the Front Desk dashboard screen. The AutoClerk Cloud in the upper left hand corner is always visible and is a way to quickly return to the dashboard screen. The property's name appears at the top center of the dashboard. If this property is a part of a group of hotels and the user is logged in with manager permission, when you click on the hotel name, a list of other hotels in that group will appear. The Search Today field in the top right of the dashboard allows a user to search for the current in-house guests, guests due to arrive tomorrow, and guests who have checked out today. The search can be done by last name, first name, or room number. The upper right corner displays the current hotel system date and the username of who was logged into the system. Left clicking on the username allows this person to log off their session. The blue menu bar across the top of the screen allows a shortcut to many of the functions within the system and is visible on many other screens even when the user is not on the dashboard. When a user clicks on one of the menu bar categories, a drop down menu appears. Left click on the category and you will be taken to that screen. The shortcut section at the far left of the dashboard are ways to access the most used functions within the system. These are reservations, walk-in, tape chart, reports, reservation activity, and setup. You can left click on the words or the graphic to the left of the words to access the area. The summary section will break down the guest activity for that business date. This includes remaining arrivals, remaining departures, currently in-house, stayovers, guest arriving tomorrow, departed guests, number of vacant, dirty, and vacant clean rooms, out of order, users logged in, and for future use, CRS made reservations. Left clicking on any of the options that is underlined will take you to the screen where you can view that data. The availability screen gives you a quick glance at room types and how many available as well as their rates. The drop down box will display the rate or the rate code selected. Clicking on a room type will display a tape chart for only that room type. Reservations can be started from this screen, just like in the tape chart by clicking the date or dates for a room number, right clicking and selecting new reservation. Also, a room number can be placed out of order from this screen. The quick search area gives you a place where you can search guest information by last name, confirmation number, arrival, and departure date. Left clicking on more will take you to an advanced search screen where you are given more search fields. The change room status area is a quick and easy way to update a room status. Type in a room number and click go. The current housekeeping status for that room number will appear and allow the user to change a dirty room to clean and a clean room to dirty. The apply charge area allows the user to quickly apply a charge to an in-house guest folio without having to access it. Clicking on the first drop-down arrow to select the guest, select the next drop-down arrow to select the charge to be applied. In the description field, type a brief description of the posting and it will display on the folio. Finally, put the amount in the amount field and click the apply charge button to confirm the posting. The Pass on Log area will display any notes entered from all users to view. The More button allows the user to see more notes and Add Comment allows new comments to be entered. There's also a Group Summary area at the bottom of the dashboard, which will list all groups with activity over the current business date. Users can click on the group name, which will take them into the group reservation screen from where the user can access any of the function tabs across the top. At the very bottom of the dashboard, you will see additional information regarding AutoClerk Cloud, as well as a help link 
and a contact support link. These areas will give you a place to look up information on how to operate AutoClerk Cloud via video tutorials and a front desk manual. This is also the area where you can get information on how to contact support if you run into any issues with the system. This concludes the AutoClerk Cloud tutorial on the front desk dashboard.